Okay, so I'm doing my presentation on TH and beef cattle. Uh, TH, uh, the real name of it is tibial hemimelia. And um, I just kind of broke down the two words. We have tibia, which is the bone in between the stifle and the hock, or in humans, the knee and the ankle. Um, and there's a picture of it on the right. Um, and then hemimelia um, is the absence of all or part of a limb. And I found that really interesting because one of the other really common um, things that is passed on to the calves if they uh, have this dis disorder is a big um, hernia. So I, when I saw a hemimelia, I kind of thought it would be like related to that. Like him now, is it, what kind of hernia? Inguinal? Uh, abdominal. Abdominal, okay. Okay, so this is just a skeleton of your typical beef cow. And so you can see um, just kind of the location of it and what's missing. Um, so some background on it, it's a disorder of multiple congenital defects. Um, it's recessive, so both parents have to have it in order for, um, for them to pass it on, and it's lethal. Um, the homozygous is lethal, and um, it's important to know that because the, in order to detect it, you have to look at the lines right now, and so you have to know your pedigrees and keep proper records. Um, and the reason I put that even after a live birth is because not all of them are born dead, but because they're missing a crucial bone, there's just no, no possible way that um, they can fulfill the, the long-lived life. So, so you're saying they won't be able to eat and... So even if they're not harvested by the human, if they were in the wild, so to speak, they would die because they couldn't eat. So that's, they still consider it lethal just yeah. because yeah. of that. So you could have a live calf. And I think one of my pictures is a live calf. Um, but these are some other things. The hernias, twisted legs, uh, cryptor, the cryptor cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism. <clears throat> yes. And then uh, there's tissue, the mining... God, how would you say that one? <clears throat> Oseal. Mining... I don't know. Gossial? Maybe But um, that is... I read up on that a little bit, because they just gave the... Um, the article I read just gave that word. So I looked it up, and it's tissue that's, like, <coughs> leaking out of the brain. Okay. So or out of the skull. So we're talking about brain tissue that's protruding through the skull. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty nasty. And there, see, the first word, meninges, that's the three-layer membrane around the brain. So it's like those layers are popping out. Okay. Okay, so here's some pictures. Um, I tried to get some of the better pictures that aren't as gruesome, but um, you can just see this one, this way I, I talked about them being born live because this one's clear live, but you can see the hernias okay. on both of these. Yeah. Um, and the other really interesting thing, uh, this doesn't occur in most breeds. Um, it's really, really heavy, and um, now that they've been tracking the pedigree, they've been linking it to um, shorthorn uh, or shorthorn influence. So it's pretty easy to kind of uh, track it and figure out. The, the article I said that <laughs> it was very, very vague. It said that uh, any bull or any, any cow that is the offspring of the first bull, shorthorn bull in America could be a carrier. So I was like, that's a, that's a pretty big number. Mm -hmm. um, but that just kind of shows you, you can see the back legs on this one are just completely uh, twisted and not formed correctly. Um, there was actually, a, I didn't get the picture because it wouldn't have been clear when I blew it up, but there was a picture where they did a, they opened the leg up and there was just no bone. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of interesting because then you have those floating bones on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so these are the three the the three pictures I have here are the three main breeds that they see it in. Um, they have the Belties, Shorthorns, and the Mains. Um, and the reason I put the Mains on here, even though it's still kind of under question, is because they have um, PHA, which is pulmonary hypoplasia, and that is just um, poorly formed lungs that have liquid in them. And I actually pulled up. Oh, those belt and Galloway are neat. I think the belt goes all the way around, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If I remember right. But here's the PHA, and these are, this is more common in the um, main breed. But you can see that this actually, the fluid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, you can't see that, but its head is like ginormous mm -hmm. because of the fluid. So, is that better? Yeah, it's, it's a little better. better. But um, there's been a lot of question as to which is uh, which between TH and PHA, and that's why the reason I put the um, that's why I put the main on there, just because they can actually be a carrier of both. And so there's okay. some overlap, and they're trying to figure out both are lethal. Um, so right now they're doing work to figure out if there is uh, right. an extreme difference. But, but it's, it's always genetic, energy. it sounds like. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then there are DNA tests to detect the TH, but there's actually not any tests right now for the PHA. So I thought that was kind of interesting, too. Um, what else would I say? Um, and then the... Um, list of carriers are now, I don't know if they're actually required, but I went to all the breed associations that are linked to this disorder, mm -hmm. and they are like, they have huge lists so that you can kind of check your pedigrees. So if you're keeping the correct records, uh, the proper records, then there shouldn't be an issue because um, you can figure out which ones are the carriers and which ones are clean to use, and then you won't have these problems on your farm. Mm -hmm. So, so if the uh, parents the parents can't be homozygous recessive, obviously right. they can be homozygous dom. I mean, uh, large non-lethal, and then but the parents could also be heterozygous, right? So if two carriers, it's like if two yeah two get carriers, together, yeah. then there's a fourth chance of the right because you had, both of the parents have to be carriers oh. to get the homozygous recessive. Right. Yeah. So if you had a good pedigree, maybe are they avoiding it then all the time, or is it still popping up some? It's popping up. Yeah. I, I didn't know this was actually. I was with a client this weekend. Okay. And that was the thing is I had talked to him trying to figure out I was problem shooting at his farm just for this. And, <laughs> and this is just yeah, walk yeah. But he didn't. Did he have any cases, or had he had some calves born? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's a shorthorn guy. And this oh, is okay. huge. I'm okay. not a shorthorn guy, yeah. so I didn't yeah. really. No, this was that big of a okay. problem, but he said it's pretty big in the yeah. club, okay. club side of the short one. So. Yeah, because that basically you have a calf that was gestating nine months and you would throw it away. Exactly. Yeah, when when you, you could know with the DNA. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's hard so. to identify who's the carrier. Yeah, obviously. Without the test, and especially yeah. with that PHA yeah. on the mains, because there is no test. Then there's no test for that other one. Anybody have any questions? Comments? Here we go. I guess it was kind of weird because when you went back to the list of the uh, symptoms so most of this affects the skeletal system because you're missing a bone but like the actual causes like a hernia twisted legs cryptoric and that's mm -hmm. kind of all over the body something mm -hmm. about I can see the part of the skull because it's still in the skeletal system but I guess that's really weird that it's also yeah, really I don't, like I can't connected that. genes I or well but now you know there's this thing called pleiotropy and pleiotropy is where one gene controls Many well, I won't say many, but more than one parameter. So that's that might be something it interaction. Yeah, because it's like there's different parts. All yeah, I mean, the yeah, body. yeah, that's like, a good observation. Like, the hernia, the twisted legs, the crypt Yeah, it's not really like central to one right, area. Right. Yeah, especially the brain. I mean, you know, it's not only abdominal. It's it's up in the brain. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Skeletal and skeletal and soft tissue problems. Okay, so if you ever do shorthorn cattle.